Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Dr. Basam Mohammed with you. Uh, we are going to be checking lecture 10 today, Chemical Engineering 3 to 4, Process Modeling and Simulation. So, uh, what we have taken so far, we have taken so far, as we have mentioned from last time, we have taken lecture 9, an example of a cone tank. Today, we are going to take two other examples. And the two examples that you're going to take, we are going to study the modeling modeling two tanks in series however the arrangement of these tanks could be uh, different from what we could expect so we could have a tank like that and an output of the first tank goes to another tank and then it exits from the system so of course we want to have a valve in the outputs here we want to have valves in the outputs so that is one kind of a tank that we could have another tank two tanks of an arrangement in which we have a tank which looks like that however the next tank that you are going to have uh, the next tank we're going to have the input is just uh, at the bottom of the second tank and then of course we are going to have the exit of the second tank and in all of these cases the question is in all of these question is how we are how this is going to be different in sense of modeling okay how this is going to be different in sense of developing the model equations are they going to be similar or they're going to be different so sorry for that going back are they going to be similar or going to be different? So we're going to have a clear red line here in the middle and we're trying to solve both problems here. So the, the both, both problems that we are trying to solve here, let me look at the one at the left. So we have here tank one, just to separate them. So I'm going to refer that to as tank one and that is tank two. So I'm going to start for uh, the overall mass balance on tank one and i think so just to to feel more comfortable i'll just uh, zoom in so i want to write the model equations which we already know dm by dt is equal to the fluorid in minus the fluorid out and then m is equal to rho a h and here in this case rho a are constant to dh by dt is equal to rho n f n minus rho f and then we consider that the densities are constant and we are getting the equation in its final form now say dh1 by dt because we are talking about the first tank is equal to and this is f1 sorry for that like we forgot to add uh, the, the the ones there and this is area one so this dh1 by dt is equal to fi okay sorry so this is fi i'm missing something here fi over a1 minus f1 over a1 and i know that f1 is here alpha 1 into square root of h1 so i'm going to write this again fi over a1 minus alpha into square root of h1 over a1 why f1 is equal to alpha square root of h1 because f1 here f1 is a function of the head pressure the higher the head the more we are going to have pressure to push this liquid or fluid through the pipe and the lower will be the lower the pressure okay so this is the equation that we have for the first one and actually if you look at it, it we have the second tank looks exactly like the first tank so directly we can write that dh2 by dt is equal to f1 over a minus f2 of course here's over a2 if we just recall because we are talking about uh, the second tank and uh, minus f2 over a2 and if we just substitute for f1 so this is alpha 1 into square root of h1 that and this is divided by a2 and this is alpha 2 into square root of h2 divided by a2 and again f2 why did I say okay where did I go okay uh, so why did I say that f2 is equal to alpha 
square root of h2 because this f2 is only a function of head pressure and the higher the head pressure i'm going to have more flow rate going out so the the, the the equation looks very similar to what we have solved before except that you are having two tanks uh, beside each other or sorry after each other in this case in this case if we do the mass balance over tank one we are going to have exactly the same equation that we already have written so i'm not going to do this again dh1 by dt is equal to fi over a1 minus alpha 1 square root of h1 over a1 so this is what we have for tank one however if i'm going to go to the material balance over tank two we are going to have oh oh oops so i think so we have missed something here uh, here actually before going to tank two here it was f1 over a1 okay and what did we say we had we, we said that well f1 well f1 is equal to alpha 1 square root of h1 actually this was the case for the example that we, we just have taken but we will consider that this is not right we cannot do this this is not right it's not right okay why is that why is that isn't the the, the flow rate that leaves up from tank one is a function of height one yes it is a function of height one but if you can see it's also a function of height two that means the higher the head here, the, the, there will be a pressure on this side and there will be the same pressure will be pressing on the other side as well. So actually what we have here, the, the valve sitting in the middle is a function of both heights, both heights, which means that F1 here will not be equal to alpha 1 h1 it will be alpha 1 into the, the rho gh which uh, which we get the h value out which is h1 minus h2 h1 minus h2 and what does that mean it means that if you have a higher head if you go look at the tank here okay if you just look here if you have a higher head of h1 the flow is going to go to this direction and if this one is higher definitely it will go to the other direction okay i know the valves are are built in a way so that they they block the the the, the direction into one way but that is not our goal we are just trying to understand we're just trying to understand why uh, this equation is appearing and if it makes sense or not okay so definitely it makes sense and we know that it does make good sense here okay so the equation that you're going to get here is slightly different it's slightly different it will look very similar it will look very similar however if you want to substitute you'll find out that the f1 is different and actually, if you substitute for dh2 by dt, you're going to get something that is very similar because now uh, what we have as what we have as f1 over a2 minus f2 over a2, f1 again is the term which is going to be different to one h1 minus h2 over a2. However, f2 is just alpha into square root of h2 over a2 so f2 is not that different it's exactly the same because f2 will be only a function of what it will be only a function of the second tank only so these are two examples we are uh, taking and it's a comparison it's, it's a comparison of having two tanks in series however they are a little bit different in one sense that the tanks are in series here in the first but they are 
they are after each other. I mean, the second the, the, the second head pressure does not affect the first tag. However, here in the second example, the second head pressure will affect the tag. So that is an example of two tanks that we have either in series or in parallel, whatever they call them after each other, uh, or the second tank will affect the first tank. I hope this problem is clear for all of you. And again, hope to see you in lecture number 11. So this is num lecture number 10. And see you in lecture 11. All the best. This is Dr. Bassam Al-Hamad with you and wish you all the best.